All right, Row Flow, with the big man, Chris Paddock. I've been waiting for this, my yes, man. Sir. First off, how's everything going, man? How's spring training going? It's good, man. Um, year number two under my belt. Yeah. Um, you know, I learned a lot last last season, and you know, coming into spring training, I had a lot of a lot of goals that I accomplished this off season to get me ready for the 2020 season. Talk about your routine, man. I, I love talking to the guys around here, and they say, man, this guy for the four days before he pitches, he's just fun, jovial. That fifth day, though, man. It's somebody, he's got the headphones in, he's ready to go. Talk about that routine you have and why do you do it? Yeah, that's, you know, I could talk about that, you know, <laughs> for the next 24 hours. But I would say, you know, to narrow it down, it's four days of work, one day of fun. Um, you know, I'm sure y'all have heard the day before, the night before my start, I crush a large pizza. That's, that's something that... With any uh, toppings or just... It, pepperoni and bacon <laughs> and Domino's. Um, that's something so great, that, dude. that is, I, I keep, make sure that I keeping my routine. Yeah. Um, I've been doing it for about three years now. Um, why? I have no idea. It call works. It, why? Because it exactly. works. Exactly. Call, call it like a carb overload, you know, <laughs> and I get to that last piece, forcing myself down straight to bed, man. <laughs> it's so just great. something about my body knows that, you know, that's kind of how I turn on the switch, get locked in. How about you and <clears throat> staff, man? Uh, you know, I see there's, you know, Lamette, uh, Richards, these guys, you know, Gore's coming. They've got some big arms. What do you see so far in the staff that you like going into the 2020 season? It's exciting, man. Uh, you know, I'm very blessed to be a part of this group. You know, not only do we have, you know, our starting five this year, but like you said, we got guys that are, are trying to come take our job. And that, <laughs> that's what makes it fun, you right. know, that, um, you know, I was in their shoes last year, and I, I you know, tell Reggie Lawson, Patino, Gore, guys that, you know, have a chance to make it up this year with us, that, you know, be yourselves, man. Like, you, you're here for a reason. You know, y'all all belong. You all bring something special to the table. Hold each other accountable, push each other every day, and good things are going to happen. Um, but from from the big dog standpoint, you know, you, you got Lamette, you got Richards, you got Davies, you got Joey, um, and myself. You know, it, it's going to be fun, man. We, we all have that little friendly um, competition within ourselves. Um, we all hold each other accountable. But it's not, you know, it's going to take all five of us, man. It's not one guy's not going to win us the championship to get us to October. You know, it's going to take all five of us. And, you know, having the reins off me this year, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to go out there and pitch. What's the <clears> biggest <throat> lesson mentally you learned after your first year in the big leagues? How to, how to face failure, man. Nice. Uh, I would say that was by far the, the toughest thing for me is being able to turn the page and get ready for my next start. Um, you know, having some success in the minor leagues, you know, that was something I had to learn. Leave it all at the field and get ready for day one of my routine, you know, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, depending on the game. That was probably the biggest thing that I had to learn was, you know, if you underestimate your opponent or, you know, you just go through the motions, you know, that lineup that you're facing next is, that's a big league lineup, so they're coming for you. So, you know, picking picking some of the guys' brains and, and you know, a guy that I talked to last year a lot was Kinsley. Um, you know, a guy that's been around elite pitchers and um, was able to kind of give me some information, give me some feedback on what he saw with, with pitchers that he was around throughout his 13, 14 years in the big leagues on how to turn the page and be the same guy whether you have a good start or you have a bad start. Um, you know, because, you know, Greg Maddox used to say, you get you get 18 starts, roughly, let's say that's how he defined it. You get six really good starts, you got six really bad starts, you got six okay starts. You know, what are you gonna do with the other 15? Is how it defines who you are. And that, to me personally, that's that's kind of what stuck with me. And, and that's how I'm able to you know, be the same guy every day, you know, not let the emotions get to me, you know, be the same guy when I perform well and be the same guy when I pitch bad. You know what's great, man, like getting a chance to talk to you, see the student of the game you are and, and you know, how that's going to elevate you to the next level. Are you ready to, you know, I know it's only your second year, but to, to really to be the, to be the, to be the leader of the staff? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm a big believer, big believer in, you know, it's, you're never too young to lead. Yeah. Um, you know, the way I was raised, the way I was growing up, I've always kind of wanted to be that leader and, and that guy that guys look up to. But it's not just me, man. All those guys in the clubhouse, you know, get credit on on all that. You know, I look up to a lot of guys in there and the chemistry we have in that 
that, that locker room and on the field is is pretty special. All right, man. Dude, looking forward to you having a month. Lost your second year right here. One of the best in the game, one of the best in the business going forward.